Welcome back to the channel. Today I thought we'd have a quick look at a couple of cars. I've had these a little while. They've been sitting around collecting a bit of dust and uh, I thought I'd get around to uh, having a quick look at them. Um, they're both based on the same chassis. They, uh, I purchased these through WPL's website. They've got their Asia Depot and you go through there and pick these up. They're about £52 I think. Um, obviously they're complete, ready to run. So, we'll have a quick look around this one. This is the Baron, as it says on the back and on the sides. And it's a kind of pickup truck style body. And then we've got this one, which is sort of based on a Ford Mustang. And this is the Gorilla. So. As you can see, they so they come with a controller like this, and you know it's a it's a, it's a it's a comfortable controller to hold in your hand. You've got a foam grip wheel for your steering, and you've got your steering jewel rate, your steering trim, and your ESP, which is for the gyro inside. Um, it's supposed to help you when you're drifting. Um, a lot of people tend to find that it's worse with that on. Um, I don't really know, I've not really done much drifting yet. I'm going to try and get these two out and get quite a bit of drifting done. Um, you've got your throttle reverse, steering reverse, and you've got a speed control. Um, when you flick this, I think they're different on each car, from what I can remember. But one of the switches you slide and it gives you three different speeds and the next, this one here is for your lights to uh, change through different light modes right so the cars both come with the same uh, battery and it's a 18650 7.4 1200 mAh um, and it does seem to be uh, more than adequate for the little car so I'll just pop that in and that's the one controller, this one. Because a lot of these controllers they all look the same for a lot of these different models, I actually put the names on so I know which controller's which instead of guessing. So let's just pop that in there. This is your on off switch here. That turns it on to so get lights on the top right in. And there's a small switch. There's a small switch just in there, which we need to press and hold. And so that's on. So we've got this wire for the lights here. So if you want to completely remove the body, you have to take that off. But so with the lights, we've got off, and we can have white light, white with red. We can just have red. Um, so you've got a bit of a sort of range, and on the back, low down. We've got this red light that comes on with the different light modes. So, and it's got fairly good steering, which uh, you need when you're drifting. Um, and this slider here is a speed control. So if I do that and then slide it. You can hear that it's much slower. You can hear that that's much slower there. And we've got a middle. And then a 
hive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me RPM meter and we're going to see if we can work out how many RPM the wheels are doing now and then after the uh, motor upgrade we will see what RPM we're doing afterwards. Right guys, we've got the uh, RPM meter. Um, I think this was this was about 10, 12 pounds on eBay. And you have these shiny silver pieces which you have to cut a small piece and you attach it to whatever is, is going to be spinning and then the sensor on the end there will read how many times that goes past and it will give you your RPM. Now we need scissors. We'll take a small piece like so and Stick it on the wheel. We'll pop that on there. Hopefully that will stay where it's been put. Look at that. Right, so we've got our RPM and we've got that small silver piece flashing by. So what I'm going to do is get that on there and then Try and hold this so that you can see. Um, so I'm going to hold that there and we'll go to the lowest speed. So there you can see we got about 2,579. There we've, we've got uh, 2040. Go to the middle position. And now we've got 2800. And then we go to the highest speed. And we've now. Three thousand and eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine. So there's quite a big difference in the range of speed on this switch here. So you know when you're learning, I suppose you can have it down lower. So looking at that, that's around two hundred RPM difference on those little wheels. Um, depending on where that switch is, so that's that's quite a significant speed increase between those. We'll, we'll leave that on there for now. So stone dropping out. So what I'm going to do from the same website, go through WPL to the Asia Depot. I've got this brushless kit. And it comes with its own receiver speed controller combo there and you also get a waterproof um, steering servo so you get all those three components and I think this was like 13 pounds I think it wasn't expensive so let me just turn this car off have a little quick look at what we get inside the box so first off we've got the small instruction booklet with some zip ties some double-sided tape and it looks like we've got a couple of small screws in there it's quite a tight fit in there so we've got the motor itself which is more brushless motor comes with a heat sink so uh, try and keep him cool 
then it comes with this waterproof proof servo is supposedly totally sealed um, it would have been nice to have seen some metal gears on there instead of plastic but we can't have everything and uh, it is sealed there with silicon where the wires go in and this is the speed controller receiver in one and supposedly this is already set up to work with these controllers so you don't need a, a different probably use the same one um, so yeah so I'm going to go ahead and do it this this one I'm going to leave totally standard because they're both exactly the same car inside and this one's going to be modified the Baron and then we'll see we'll pit, the, pit them together head to head outside and we'll see what sort of differences we get so I'm going to crack on and I'm going to start getting this stripped so First thing is to disconnect that little plug and take the body off. So, as you can see inside, we've got the motor here, the speed controller and receiver combo there, and the survey for the steering is there. Um, I'm going to crack on them and uh, I'll get this done. So hopefully we are good to go. So like that and turn it on and we turn this on. So there we go, we've got the light there working. I'm not gonna put the body shell back on for a minute. So we should so, got this wire should, uh, wheel should still have the sticky on. So, let's have a look and we will see what the speed differences are. So this is on the lowest speed, so we've got, let's say, 2,800. So that's basically given us 200 RPM difference on the lowest speed. So now we pop up to the next one. So we've got. 3,600 so that is actually 800 RPM difference on that second speed so now we go to the highest speed see that Say four thousand four hundred. So that's given us a whopping one thousand three hundred RPM difference at top speed. And the steering is good. Next forward, on reverse. So there we go. That, that's taken probably twenty-five minutes to do. So all in all, yeah, that's, that's quite a significant speed increase. So we're going to get these out and we're going to give them a run side by side and we'll see you know, what that actually equates to in overall speed difference. All right, guys, there's a plane overhead making a bit of noise. So what we're doing now is this one has still got the original factory stuff in it and the Baron We've upgraded, so we're going to give this a run. Let's start there. We're going to—it's got three different speeds, so we're going to 
Sorry, that's going to be a bit difficult because I can hardly see the camera. So that was in the lowest speed. Let's just flick to the high because so you can get a. I can't see anything from this camera because of the sun. Ooh, took off a little bit then. So we give it another run by. Really hard to keep him straight on this road. So let's bring him back. These are obviously the drift cars. If you go to the WPL website, you can go to their Asia depot and you can pick these up. So let's stop that. And we'll read. So there you go, 17 miles an hour we got to flat out with that this has obviously got the the road tires on it with tread it does come with a set of slicks so we're gonna pull this uh, GPS off and I'll, uh, I'll grab the other car here we've got the Baron and the chassis underneath are identical they're exactly the same but on this one I've done the brushless upgrade that they do with the upgrade it increased the rear wheel rpm by a thousand rpm when it was running flat out so we're going to see what that equates to in speed on these two so i'm going to get these sorted and we'll be back in a sec all right before i uh, do this other speed run i thought i'd show you the difference between these this is the stock motor and this is the brushless that you get as an upgrade and you've got the standard ESC receiver combo there and this is the upgraded one and you've got an upgraded servo there over that one they look very very similar there's virtually no difference in them right so we're back guys and uh, the GPS is running so we'll just get straight into this it's on the highest speed I'm not sure what the tracking is like yeah lost control the GPS it goes so fast now it's uh, uncontrollable stick the ESP4 up see if uh, that helps control it in a straight line whoa no it's worse way worse so let's see if we can actually get a speed run it's a lot livelier with that little brushless can't control it, it just veers off. As soon as you hit full throttle, give it a quick blast to full throttle, and I'll, just to see if we can hit that top speed. There we go, that was it. I think we had top speed then, just before it hit something and veered off. So I'm gonna grab this and then we'll be back. There we go, he survived the crash. Even with the, the rubber tyres on, it just wants to drift. Back to the uh, whole point of this video. Let's have a look. See what our max speed was. Let me find 
and quick. So let's stop and read. So, whoa, that makes a big difference. As you can see there, we're up to 25 miles an hour from 17, I think it was. So that makes a very big, significant difference. So I think the next step is going to be taking these somewhere where we can actually do a bit of drifting, get the drift wheels on. So I think we'll uh, get that done and then I'll uh, come back to you when I'm ready. Maybe tomorrow I'm going to have to do this uh, for the drifting part, but uh, I'll try and get it done tomorrow.